Mars, our neighbor. Next planet out from the sun. A little smaller than the Earth, boasts two moons, and can be seen with the naked eye at night. In fact, it's one of the brightest objects in the night sky other than the moon, somewhere around the top three. People are fascinated with it. Back in 1960, the USSR launched Marsnik, which was the first unmanned attempt to send something to visit the red planet. Now, Marsnik didn't make it, but since then, around 40 different unmanned spacecraft, rovers, robots, orbiters, they've all made an attempt at the planet. And our success rate, historically, we actually have been looking at less than 50%, less than half of those missions have succeeded. Now, two space agencies, ESA and NASA, are talking about a formal plan to send people to Mars. The mission itself lasts about three years, and this includes an 18-month stay on the surface of Mars. Now, it'll be risky, it'll be expensive, and we'll learn a lot. But what do you think? The Ontario Science Centre is creating an exhibition about the challenges of taking people from Earth, sending them to Mars, and bringing them back again. But honestly, there are a lot of questions that don't really have any answers to. Should we make it an international effort other than a space race? Who gets to go? Who do we send? Are the risks really worth the effort? Are we really ready? Perhaps the most significant question of them all, should we even go? Send us your video responses. Let us know what you think. Send us your ideas, your questions. As we build our exhibition, your responses could become part of it. As we explore the challenges that humanity is facing as we're facing Mars. Thanks for watching. Send us your questions, your answers. Send us your thoughts. What do you think about Mars? Should we go?